That's right, you guys. We're gonna be working on the... Hey, you! What's up, machines and machine freaks? I am with the Duramax. We're also at the original garage. Let's go check out what we're about to get. The thing we're after is indeed in the garage. That trailer will definitely have to be moved. Along with Crush. Are we bringing Crush back? We'll find out. One thing's for sure, Crush does take up a lot of space. We'll move that trailer. We'll move Crush, because Crush is not it. How's the old D-Max doing today? Me too. So we're looking at 260,000 miles. That's how many miles are on the Duramax. The glow plugs are ready, even though we don't need much of them. Sounds as good as it ever has. Now I have to move this trailer no matter what, but I do also have to put it on the back of the truck because uh, A, it's easier to move, and B, I will need to use it. Usually you don't need a trailer to move something like this. Crush will be back. Just not today. We're not we're not working on crush today. Batteries to power. Power to key. Yeah. They ordered all the parts for crush because we had that little incident a couple of weeks ago. I ordered all the parts two days ago. Probably take a couple of days to come in. They they come from a couple different sources. Don't want to get caught up on that. In my opinion, everybody should own one of these things. That's right, you guys. We're going to be working on the... Seika. It's kind of funny. After I left the garage, the garage just got a little bit more dirty. My mom grew up with a pack rat of a mother. Her mother grew up with a pack rat. So, so the pack rat thing is a constant gene thing. So if you guys always wonder, Dalton, why do you have such a mess? It's because we don't really care. It's like, okay, as long as stuff's getting done, then we don't care. But if the mess is interfering with stuff getting done, then that's when it's, you know, it's something you have to take care of. Yes, cleaning is always more efficient than... Yeah, let's get the Seika. Not mine. Not mine. Nope. The good news is the Seika has a battery. Unfortunately, when I turn the key though, there's nothing on the dash, absolutely nothing. So when batteries usually do that, they're usually shot for good. But we'll try to trickle charge it anyways to see if it runs and moves. This bike, I believe, has 33 thousand. Stand corrected, 39,000 miles. And they say that this bike goes anywhere from 50 to 60 without a rebuild. This bike, it has a huge, huge lifespan. All loaded up, let's go back to the garage. So this is what's currently going on at the warehouse. The frame is in the safest position right now because I need to get this frame done. Uh, I have a schedule to keep, just like with the Seika and the frame, I just have a huge schedule to keep. So anyways, I need to bust out this frame. There's only a few more things I have to weld on. This piece of steel here, I'll show you. That's gonna go around this uh, coil spring support here. Now there are three sides that I'm working on. The one side I have completed, working on the second two right now. What I'll end up doing is I'll weld right here and then I'll flip it over. There's no point in making difficult passes for me. I may as well work on one F's and one G's instead of four F's and four G's. Four, four F and four G is when you're like upside down and you're welding underneath you and sparks fall on you. There's no point in doing that. It's harder to manipulate the puddle. It's also more tricky on your skin when sparks freaking hit you. While I've been giving my welder a break, I had the battery on, the sake of battery on. Not sure if it's gonna revive itself or not, but it's so far so good. It's it's charging. That yellow indicator said it's, it's charging. Now I believe if the battery's no good, that yellow will actually blink, or maybe that red will actually blink. Fingers crossed. Let's get back to welding. <laughs> I'm happy to say side two is done. Now I did have to make a slight modification to my modification. As you guys know, these things are from Rough Country. 
they are supposed to go on your axle, not on your frame. Well, I reversed it, I reverse engineered it, so I welded them to the frame. But the only thing was, is since this spring has two different kinds of uh, bends here, it's got this wide bend for the axle, and then it's got the narrow bend, you can see down in there, it's this piece comes in a little further. Well, because of that, I had to notch out a piece, but now that that's notched out, this spring fits this so nice. It, it actually kind of locks in, which is kind of neat. Or, or not. I'm downtown for two things. One, I'm gonna get my hair cut, and two, I'm getting lunch. But I'm just gonna check out the Seiko real quick, because I got like three minutes before I have to be to my haircut. Those bolts I definitely want to replace. Those are uh, those are rusty and crusty. And it looks like the exhaust, it looks like the inner portion of the exhaust held up better than the outer portions of the exhaust. I used two different paints. Uh, it looks like the inners was much higher quality. We'll leave the Duramax and the bike here. It's time to go get my hair cut. Now I'm looking and feeling like a well-oiled machine. Now it's time to finish this third and final side of the frame. The frame is now done. It's hung up to the ceiling here. It's kind of balanced by that, and then there's some stuff balancing it on the ground here. Pushed it off to the side. Brought the Seika in along with the toilet snake. How are you doing, Jake? Good, how are you? Good, I haven't seen you in a while, buddy. I, I missed you. I'm glad you stopped by. And you're looking froggy fresh in your merch, too. I like I that. Know. OG stuff. Hey, we're, we're matching, look at that. Holy cats. Jake's gonna fog my cylinders. He's gonna take out every spark plug here because this thing hasn't turned over in probably, I wanna say 370 days because I went to one event last year and it was, actually it's probably more like 400 days. But uh, instead of just turning this thing over, we're gonna lubricate inside the cylinders so that we're not wearing it out prematurely. Like I told you guys, these things get like 50 to like 40, 50,000 miles without any rebuilds. I mean, we wanna keep it like that. So that's why we're gonna fog the cylinders. And then after that, we're gonna start uh, making this thing look a little extra spunky because I am going to an event. Uh, Jake was invited to this event, but he's not gonna make it to the event. It's uh, mid-Ohio. Uh, Jason invited me to this. We're gonna head out tonight at like midnight, and then we'll come home tomorrow at midnight. So we'll just have a 24-hour bike challenge. Now that's what I'm doing in a couple of weeks. Yeah, Jake's gonna race it though. We're just gonna go and you know look at stuff and maybe buy some stuff and then cruise around. Jake's gonna constantly. What, what's that even gonna be like, dude? It's gonna I, be uh, a challenge. I can't imagine. Like, I get tired after like an, an hour of serious riding, beat by two hours. You're gonna go 24 hours. Yeah, I'm gonna just pace myself and. But you did go from two hours last year of racing to three years now. What's three years feel like to you now? You mean three hours? Yeah, three hours of riding. Does that feel like two now? No. It still is. It, yeah, I only raced a few three hour events. Yeah? Just the GNCCs. Are you still doing your exercises or not as much? Not as much. Not as much? Need to start whipping you, man. I know, but I figured I only got a week. What's, what's the sense of working out for a week? Is that really going to help? So Jake, the last time I saw, no, I saw you a couple, I think I saw you another time, but another, uh, like two times ago, you're taking your, your beta apart. He's got his beta apart for suspension, right? Yep. And uh, you missed a race or you didn't miss a race? I missed the race with the beta. And uh, what'd you race? The bike. The 150? Yeah. So you rode a 150 and your beta is a 250 or 300? 250. 250. So would it feel like to have 100 less cc's on your crash? Oh, it's different. Yeah. It's a lot different. <laughs> So There's he, a lot of open stuff in the track and it definitely was a little bit slower than that. So now he's got to pressure the mechanic to get his suspension all done so he doesn't miss the next race and that's the 24 hour race, right? That's right. Holy cats, man, good luck. Oh yeah, and t today's Jake's birthday, so wish Jake a happy birthday in the comment section below. If you don't, we will find you. Fog him up. Pretty sure this thing's supposed to have a tube on it, but we don't have the tube. Found the straw. There you go, Jake. Thank you. He's gonna fog it up. I'll explain why the bike looks like this. It, originally, this bike doesn't look like this. There's a like fairing, or what'd you call it? That's what I call it. You call it a fairing? Yeah, this fairing right here, I kept it, even though I took it off. Sometimes at, I think it's 4,000 RPMs, it just tends to vibrate a little bit. It's just something that kind of bothered me after two, three years of riding with it. So I just took it off, and plus, 
I kind of like, you know, customizing my stuff. So here's some more parts. We're gonna put it back to the original for this event. Why do I keep this sprocket too? Jake, here, here's a sprocket for your sprocket wall, buddy. That's from the infamous Seiko right there. You can hang it on your sprocket wall. It's not even that bad. No, she's, she's cherry. What'd you throw it out for? I don't know, maybe that's why I kept it. I think, yeah. I, I don't remember what happened. Maybe the rear sprocket went bad and I just replaced them all. Maybe that's what happened. But I do have aftermarket mirrors. Those are the originals. Those are the ones I have on it now. I like these ones way better. Unfortunately though, the uh, backsides of them are kind of rusty and crusty. We'll, we'll make those look better. Because that, boys and girls, is not froggy fresh. <laughs> So we just got all our hardware from Value. Hey Tim, how's it going? Good, how are you? Good. Hey, I'm having a fire tonight. You can come if you want. Oh, this is Jake, huh? Yeah, this is Jake. Now we're going to take all that brand new silver hardware, grind it up, and then uh, paint it black. I'm also painting some stuff right over on this side and stuff over on this side. Because originally after I took that fairing off, I had to weld two mounts on here to hang on to that little visor there, that black visor. But I had to cut those mounts off in order to put the new fairing back on. So now after I cut that, I, I primed it and then I'll paint it. I just got done installing that front fairing. It's looking really good. It's looking a little bit better than I remember, that's for sure. But maybe it's, it helps that I have all the same hardware before it had Allen's up here and then Phillips down here and then a different Phillips over here and now it's all the same. It does need a little bit of spit shining, but other than that, all the hardware on it looks good. Uh, that black, I like, I like doing this stuff black. The silver would have popped out way too much. Uh, the only thing I really like that silver is the fact that, uh, you know, the forks are silver, signifying that they're clean and not all rusty and crusty. The battery still says it's charging. I'm kind of getting sketched out at this point in time because this thing's been sitting on here for a couple hours and it should, I mean, this battery is only, you can see, it's not that big. And, uh, I mean, I get it, it's a trickle charger, but uh, I, I'm kind of sketched out. I'm hoping that it works because I think I only have one real like year on that thing. It sat outside, but I don't think it really freezes in the garage, even though it's not heated. I guess there's only one way to find out. Oh yeah, and also I spray painted the uh, headers there, so the headers are looking way better. I don't know, you guys, I think it's gonna run. We fogged it up. We got a full, fully charged, well, maybe, uh, you know, pretty charged battery. The thing's from 93, I don't know. This thing's kinda, We'll see. Okay, we'll take the key out of the seat. Throw it in the ignition. Let's see if we even get a dash. Oh man, yeah, that's not good at all. Holy sp That's the horn. Wow, yeah, that battery shot. Yep, totally shot. Shuckers, now it looks like I'll have to use that thing. We'll hook that up, hopefully. If, if the Die Hard is dead, that's no good. This is the second battery that I've ever put in this thing. From day one, it had a dead battery. It looks like uh, the last day today, it's got a dead battery. I just have it on two amps right now just to kind of check things out. Rear light is working. Is the headlight working? Oh yeah, the headlight's working. Do we have high beam? High beam and low beam. Both indicator, whatever you want to call those things work. Signals. Signals, oh yeah, that one's working. Coming up front, gonna check that, oh yeah, let's see if, left turn signal, yep, sweet. So we would pass inspection. Moment of truth, I'm gonna crank it up, crank up the amperage, we'll uh, see what this puppy's going to do. It's been 400 days. Try sleeping that long and then waking up and getting ready to jog and run a marathon. You're not doing it. 
So this thing isn't legal for the roads, but I can, when I go to this event, I guess I can ride it around. I don't know if I need a helmet or not. I'm gonna have to call Jason up. This thing's definitely smoky because that paint is like boiling off of it. So now I have to get it loaded in the back of my truck because I'm going to meet Jason at a location. And then from that location, we're gonna take off and go to this event in Ohio and just do the 24 hour challenge like I said. So I needed some wheels. So I built my wheels. She's ready to go. Will it shut off? Oh yeah, it shuts off even. And just like that full circle, got the tarp on the Seika. The Seika is looking way better than it did earlier. It runs now. I hope it runs better the second time we start. I'm gonna have to bring a boost pack on the trip. Stay froggy fresh, stay super fly. Tell me what you are thinking in the comment section below. You guys, I, I wanna see some communication in the comment section below so I can comment back to you and or even better Mention you in the next 3D Machines production by answering your question. Stay froggy fresh. We'll see you later. Enjoy your weekend. See you later. Yeah.